Okay, so this is our new team group, MP33, NVMe, PCI, one terabyte SSD. This is the SSD straight out of the package, dropped into the machine. It's pretty fresh and pretty new. There's no content on it yet. And we're just going through the paces of testing the speeds of the drive. So I'll speed this up. We don't need to watch it test. Once it's complete, I'll pause the video on there for a second and we can take a look at the speeds. Okay, so you can see here through the test, we have sequential one megabyte at 1740 for read and 1470 for writes. And the 4K random read and write is 53 for reading and 197 for writing. These are decent results, but to improve these results, what we're gonna do is add a heat sink to the SSD. This SSD didn't come with one as it is a lower cost SSD, but we can improve the performance of this. Just copying a large file, I can see, I'll put in a clip here that the, that the SSD goes quite quickly you know, 1.4, 1.5 gigabytes, and then really throttles back as the temperature of the SSD rises. So the temperature of the SSD was reaching the high 70s. And when it did get to the mid 70s, you can clearly see that it would throttle the speed into the seven or 800 megabytes per second. Once we apply the SSD's heat sink, the speeds improved and so did the performance. So let's take a look at the disk mark performance after I have added the heat sink to it. All right, so we got our heat spreader that we ordered on Amazon because we noticed that this is going over the recommended operating temperature. So this was on sale from $22 to $16 Canadian. And it's a RGB light up one. It looks pretty cool and for $15, or sorry, it was $16. Um, you, I could have got cheaper ones. The cheaper ones actually just are stickers that go on top and they're not as thick as this and they don't have back plates. So I ordered this one because it did come with two silicone heat spreaders and a back plate for the back of the, the unit. The, NVMe SSD. Okay, so it's machine metal. This is cool. It's a little JND logo. Okay, okay so we'll get this thing on. It uses uh, some little tiny screws here. And these just are silicone thermal pads, silicone thermal pads. Some of the ones on Amazon that were like 10 or $12 just came with a piece of metal and it didn't, they didn't come with this or they came with this that was sticky. And then you would stick like something like this, thin like this on the other side. This has a little more substantial size and capacity, uh, heat absorbing capacity, and it comes with a back plate to help with that. So we will do the back side and the front side. So when you apply these, you want to make sure that you don't cover this notch so that your screw can still go in and out. And you don't want to go too far forward that when you insert this, it is hitting your connector. Okay, so this is the bottom. 
portion. And the silicone pad is exactly the right size, so you can line this up quite well. I don't know how much of a choice I have. This is vo warranty void if I remove this sticker, uh, which I'm gonna do because I wanna get this silicone thermal pad in direct contact and not have to go through the sticker. So what I'll do is I will just save this sticker the best I can. It shouldn't rip or anything like that. I uh, will just be very gentle removing it. It doesn't look like it has any removal protection on it. Like some stickers, they'll get lines or they'll turn red or something like that when you when you remove them. It doesn't look like this one does, so what we'll do is we'll just stick it right onto the back. That's where we will save it. And it fits there pretty good. So if we do need to remove this, we can peel the sticker off the back and put it back on. And it looks like the chip here at the front, you probably won't be able to see it, but it is ever so slightly, half a millimeter, maybe one millimeter, taller than the rest of the chip. So this, if you put this directly on there, it's not going to make contact with, you know, this chip and this chip. So you want to have this on there so that when you push this, this squishes down a little bit more here and it still makes contact. And also make sure you peel off the plastic covers for these or they just will not work properly. That's good enough. So it looks like this goes in this way. So we'll put this so that the logo is sitting up. And I don't want to get too close because I have a PCI slot that's really up close to here. So I don't want this to interfere. So I'm going to just line it up with, with that the best I can. And there's a couple screw holes. I also like the idea of the screw so that when this is going through its heat cycles, it doesn't fall off. Okay, so now we have the heatsink installed on the team group NVMe. So let's run those tests again and we'll see what our temperatures get to. It'll result in better performance as well because it won't be throttling reads and writes due to temperature. So we have our team group disk selected here. So we'll run Crystal Disk Mark and we'll update the temperature. So far, this is pretty good. I believe when we did the initial test, after about 10 seconds, it was already up into the high 60s. And the actual temperature is going down here. So hovering around 43, 44. Oh, we're getting 50. So I'm sure it will heat up, but it'll take much longer to do that. 
and we can see that our speeds are already increased. I do remember the speeds on this around 1750 or so. We'll double check the numbers and we'll compare. So far, I haven't seen it go over 50 degrees Celsius, which is phenomenal. Within 15 seconds, this thing without the heat sink on it was already hitting temperatures, you know, into the 70s. I think the max we reached was 80 or so. Okay, so we're finishing up here and I don't think we saw over 52 or 53 degrees. I'll have to double check. Oh, 54 right there. Okay, so the test is complete and I think we did much better. Let me find the previous results and we will compare them. Okay, so I hope this shows adding a heat sink to your NVMe SSD will certainly improve the performance. See you in the next video. Bye.